I think my favorite thing about science is the beauty to it. You can't just finish science. You're never just done with science. You're, you're always you know, learning and kind of taking it a step further. That's what I really like about science. I think that it's so interesting that we're made up of these particles and these like cells, and yet we're like conscious enough to want to know more about it. In a laboratory environment like Fermilab, it's one of the best places to be exposed to STEM education. Scientists and, and staff at Fermi are, you know, just live and breathe the scientific method. So they look at something and they say, how do I measure that? Or, you know, and that's not a natural, that's, that's learned, that's taught, and that exposure to teachers and students is sort of a shock to them. I mean, people don't usually operate like that. And it's, it's refreshing to them, and uh, we get a chance to, you know, to sell our, our philosophy of how you, how you learn things, how you measure things, how you know, you know what's, what's closer to the truth. And so we can show them that and, and see their, their eyes light up when they say, oh, it's that easy. As a CorkNet staff teacher, my role is to help teachers kind of come to a new way of teaching with particle physics, trying to empower the teachers in kind of a new way of physics, new way of science that they haven't done before. One of the things that we deliver to teachers is this CorkNet cosmic ray detector, and that's what the students are working with in the high school. Um, it's a simple device but it's made up of exactly the same components that go into the big detectors that you find here at Fermilab and also in the LHC in CERN, Switzerland. We say, let's go measure this. Here's, here's a detector, it does this. Now try to use it to measure some basic process, like the decay of the muon. Well, you tell everyone, oh, I'm working you know, with cosmic rays and the first thing they think is, Oh my God! You know you're doing something that's so complicated and so you know out of reach. Um, but really, what what we found is that it's you know it's surprisingly simple to work with um, as long as you can read the data that it's giving you. We let the data run for a few days, and we were actually able to get like I think around seven million data points, and that was just really surprising to me. They're measuring muons in their cosmic rays. And it's exactly what was used to discover the Higgs. So it's, it's not even a stretch. We're training the, the next generation of scientists. We're also training the next generation of non-scientists to think critically and to understand the world around them. One of the uh, greatest things that I think um, is available for my students is the ability to work with real researchers and um, physicist and see how that research does really tie back into their everyday life even though you don't necessarily see it. It's great for them to be able to see that it does touch them now but then it also can take them to much greater heights. We educate teachers in that really they can be part of the collaboration. They can measure things that are directly related to what we measure at CMS and understand what's going on and they pass that to the students and in fact, we make sure that the students do it too. Fermilab uh, makes many things available to our teachers. I think uh, most importantly, they provide us a venue to come and ask questions, to research, to get materials. That when we're stuck on something or we need guidance, they're right there to help us along. Activity we're gonna do this morning is from Friendly Physics, which is our K-5 physical science. The challenge activity this morning was one that was supposed to uh, simulate neutron therapy. Um, we were using simple materials, you know, small toy cars, a ramp, rulers, blocks to hold up the ramps. Challenge activity actually gave the teachers in the room an opportunity to actually um, engage in that real world application that uh, Fermilab scientists get to experience on a regular basis. The most important um, piece of a child's education is the classroom teacher who knows the standards, who's excited to teach the standards, and has a great knowledge base. At Fermilab, we work collaboratively to solve problems and to discover information. This is actually an excellent place for teachers and their students to get a feeling for what it's like to do science, whether you're the teacher of a, of a kindergartner or the teacher of an eighth grader or maybe a high school teacher. There's something you can learn here at Fermilab that you can translate to your students. 